hello guys in today's video we are glamming our stomachs not our hair okay we i want to make chapat um, mandazi and mandazi it's been a minute making them i don't remember how long over here i think so i want to use this butternut squash that is left to try that and let's cross the fingers hope it will come out as i vision but anyway i'm prepared <laughs> yeah yeah you just use that crater to peel and later come in with a knife and just divide use the spoon to scoop the seeds i find it that it's effective because it will scoop it so good yeah and you just chop chop and then you you let it cook until it's tender and then we blend it we're gonna use this as like we are not using anything else to to make our duff or duff forever yeah you blend i added some cold water so that it will not be so hot yeah and i added some mm, bit of margarine and blended them all and now i'm mixing my ingredients the unga and the flour, the baking, ah, uh, the flour, the baking powder, the salt, and creating the, the lemon to eat the, the green part. So for me, I don't know the measurements. Like the African I am, in a typical African, I use our eyes, I will use our eyes. But next time, maybe I'll, I'll have to look for the measuring, whatever the necessary. <laughs> Okay, you you mix all those ingredients and then you create the the green part of the lemon that is a cover. Yeah, I don't know what we call I think so. And now you come in with your butternut. Is it called pure <laughs> or pure? <laughs> yeah, the one like the one that you blended. Yeah, and then you you just mix properly until the mixture becomes a, a soft dough um, or dough hey, dough <laughs> okay so you you need it so good until it become kind of elastic like it doesn't stick in your hands when you stretch it it stretches so you make sure it, your your dough reaches that point yeah, finilia yet in a finilia cabisa. Finya. Yeah, okay. And after that, you you let it rest. Like, you cover it with preferably the cling film. Uh, and let it rest. For me, I think it rested for around one hour or more. Yeah, and after covering with a cling film you don't cover the whole ball you cover only the 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 dough so after that you put a, a, a warm towel kitchen towel that is chungo <laughs> silete okay a, warm, a kitchen towel and then those that is the unga that i'll be using to to roll that is the the pink one is the shape the heart shaped thing that I'm gonna use to make my mandazis to be heart shaped and okay you know uh, turn the dough into a fl fl um, flat surface and knead it well for a few minutes until it becomes smooth and now you can do the rolling to, the, to your desired um uh shapes like for me this time i rolled and then i uh like traditionally you always find mandazi are either triangle or square but mine is gonna be heart shaped as you can see the way i'm making them to be heart shaped yeah and the next thing that you have to do is you hit your you, you hit your what do we call oh my god you hit your oil in a deep fryer 
So after they are ready, you just dip in your mandazis until they are golden brown. Wengine walikuwa na fura mioyo. Wengine walikuwa na kunjana mioyo. Lakini it's fine, okay. Wengine walikuwa light hearted, wengine walikuwa heavy hearted. But anyways, after ili toka tu poa, it came out so good. So and that is the final results. Wengine walikuwa hat broken like that. Me pasuka moyo, but ni sawa. So that is it, guys. Next time. I wasn't so satisfied, but next time I'm gonna do it perfectly and measure the ingredients. Villa in far. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.